Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikrishnan. Uh, today we are going to cover the second video of GitHub Copilot. So in the first video we have seen an introduction to GitHub Copilot. We learned where we can uh, use this GitHub Copilot and uh, what is the use of GitHub Copilot uh, in our development journey, right? And uh, in the last video I mentioned regarding the different uh, pricing rules of GitHub Copilot and uh, GitHub Copilot is providing a free trial version for one month right so uh, i'm going to show you how you can get access to this one month subscription and uh, uh, we'll uh, see like how we can uh, get this extension enabled in our uh, ide as well okay uh, so let's start with this uh, demo so let me go to uh, chrome let me search for github uh, okay github copilot okay and we'll be getting the first link okay so just click on that github copilot okay here you can see your ai payer programmer and uh, it is showing a uh, plan right like uh, uh, click on start my uh, free trial to enable the uh, community version so what i'm going to do is let me click on this okay so here it has clearly mentioned start your 30 day free trial okay Copilot uses the uh, Codex AI model to offer quotation. So I mentioned about this LLM model uh, in the last video. And uh, these are the things uh, that we have to do for getting it uh, enough. Okay. So get code suggestion in more than a dozen coding languages and plug into ID, including VS Studio under this many ID. Sign up for an annual subscription and get two months of free. Um, and uh, cancel anytime before the trial ends to avoid uh, getting billed. So if you are going for a uh, yearly plan means then uh, it will give you uh, two months of uh, free subscription. Okay. Uh, so let me do one thing. And uh, one more thing that you have to keep in mind is like uh, uh, while doing this registration or for the sign up for the free trial, uh, the free trial sign up will be like this. Okay. So for one month it will provide free uh, subscription and later that if you are not cancelling the subscription within one month, it will auto detect the amount from your card or your account for uh the next month plan okay so if you're going with monthly plan it will take a dollar 10 for uh the next month or if you're going for yearly means it will detect a dollar 100 okay so just keep that in mind if you are not satisfied with this particular plugin you can cancel this plugin or uh, extension uh, or subscription of this extension uh within one month of free trial period okay so let me click on get access to github copilot okay uh, so for me it has automatically uh, taken the account details okay so if you haven't subscribed or uh, sign up to github so let me do one thing let me sign out from this okay let me click on sign out okay let, let me go back Okay, let me click on get access to GitHub Copilot. Okay, now uh, the first two pieces, it, it will ask for the GitHub uh, uh, login page. Okay, so here you have to enter your uh, credential, username and password. Or if you don't have GitHub uh, account, means you have to click on create an account and uh, uh, create a GitHub uh, account. Okay, so after entering the username and password, uh, just click on sign in. Okay, now you can see GitHub uh, Copilot uh, page and here it is asking for uh, confirming the payment and other details okay so subscription will be valid uh, uh, till uh, uh, september 11 2023 and uh, if you're not cancelling within uh, this time period it will auto detect a dollar time from your account okay and here you have to provide uh, the details so let me enter uh, okay so i entered these details choose your country India. Okay, click on save. Okay, now it will ask for uh, either you can enter the PayPal account or you can enter either the credit card or a debit card. Or, or deal. So let me click on this. Okay, and uh, let me uh, enter the details so here what you have to keep in mind is like uh, you are providing your card details so 
if you are not uh, uh, de- deleting or removing the subscription within one month it will auto detect the amount from the card that you are providing here okay so let me add okay okay it has saved my details as well now you can click on uh, submit button right so click on submit so here uh, as the next step it is asking suggestion matching public uh, code github corporate can allow or block suggestion matching public code to learn so let me select allow okay so allow github to use my course limiter for product improvement so it is asking like see allow github to use my code snippet for product improvement so let me deselect it right because i don't uh, want my code to be uh, provided to github for doing the product improvement because my code should be secure right so disable that and uh, just click on save and start it now you'll be able to see github copilot is now ready to pair add it to your editor and start building okay uh, so here you can see it is providing uh, how you can in, uh, install the copilot extension in uh, the uh, different id as well so let me go with the uh, visual studio code okay so those, uh, okay so here it is showing it is telling to go to marketplace and add the extension so let me open visual studio code Okay, so the guide is uh, properly available here. So, like, what are steps that you need to do? Uh, everything is uh, available here, right? Okay, so, in Visual Studio Code, what you have to do is uh, click on this extension, then search for uh, GitHub Copilot. Okay, so let it search for it. Okay, so this is the one that we are looking for, right? GitHub Copilot. Click on install button. And here we can see it is installing this particular uh, extension and uh, free trial we already enabled the free trial right so again we'll have to sign up okay so it has uh, automatically selected and uh, click on session matching public code hello click on save click on save okay uh, now uh, we can see we have successfully enabled the github copilot in our uh, visual studio uh, uh, as well as uh, we have uh, signed into the free trial version of a github copilot okay so in the next video i will show you how we can use this github copilot extension for uh, writing the code okay so that will be covering in the uh, next uh, video okay so thanks for watching the video if you have any doubts regarding this github copilot how to uh, install and how to do the subscription to github copilot please do uh, comment in the comment section i can help you out. okay thanks thanks for watching the video bye